Hello and welcome to the Safe Isolation Simulation. Um, this piece of software is basically designed to be a sandpit environment for you and your students to uh, play around with uh, electricity in a safe way. Um, the simulator has 16 randomised jobs. For example, this one is asking us to replace a broken socket outlet in the downstairs hallway. And it gives us some further information. To start on the job, I just need to click the consumer unit under the stairs, like so. Now I said this is a sand pit environment, and basically that means that you can mess around in any way you want to. So for example, I can go through and switch off all of the circuit breakers, RCDs, main switch, and basically the house will correspond. If I turn back on the, the RCDs here, turn back on these circuit breakers. So for example, if I uh, look in the kitchen here, I can see the sound from the washing machine. If you've uh, got sound turned up, you will hear the washing machine as well. So if I just look along here, I can see if I can find um, whether there's specific kitchen sockets, and there they are. I can turn those off, and you can see the kitchen sockets have gone off. Uh, and again, really, the same for anything. Garden light, there's the garden light. You can turn it off. Obviously, one RCD will control one half of the house, and the other RCD, the other half of the house. And the idea is that basically you can do anything you like. So uh, if I wanted to do something dangerous, like open up a ceiling rose while it's live, I can do that. And my tester just need to click once. This isn't drag, you click once and release. I can then take up and I can connect on. And get a reading showing there that this is live. And if I now switch off, and back on, you can see that the tester corresponds to this. There's a reset button there to reset my pros back. And I can close that device and I could op open up a socket outlet down here. And again, I can just come in with my tester, click on it and find that it's live. So really, obviously, I've been working very dangerously. And I could at any stage click to on the finish grade me button here and it will score me. And uh, actually if I do that, we can see I've done 39 steps. Um, now if you're working correctly, uh, it's actually less than 10 steps to um, basically perform the necessary safe isolation um, before you would start work. And again, I can click next to go through and it grades each step. Basically, it's not been too impressive me because it thinks that I don't know what I'm doing. So let's skim right through to step 39. And it says I scored zero and I've got a big red cross against me there. I can click restart to try again. And now I've got a new job. And this time it's a light fitting in the downstairs hallway. So of course I can click on the consumer unit. Um, and then if I wanted to, I could uh, switch off the main switch and I can just click once and then release onto um, the padlock, drag that over to the uh, switch and lock it off. If I want to uh, check my prover works okay, I can just hover over there. Remember it's click and release. I'm not dragging here. This is attached to the mouse now. I've just hovered over the proving unit and it's opened up and I can just click drag the second one, and I said drag, but it's actually click and release. And there we go, I proved my tester. At any stage that I think I've, that I've prepared the job that I can actually disconnect the old device and connect the new one, I would just finish grade me, uh, because obviously we're not actually gonna go on and do the job of replacing the damaged broken socket outlet or the damaged ceiling rows. We're just proving that we can work safely and prepare the job to work with it dead. So there you go, I hope you get uh, plenty of use out of the Safe Isolation Simulator and um, look forward to uh, seeing you soon.